Hello everybody, Videos here, and welcome back to lag. Maybe if we get out of here. Okay, apparently the game just didn't like that place. Anyway, this is Let's Play Grano Trigger. Welcome back! Huzzah! Okay. And anyway, hmm, why did that thing pop up that said 1000 AD? Well, we'll find that out later. So, uh, let's go to this place, the ticket office. Fairy ride, eh? Every chance you get, eh? Ten gold, eh? Have a nice- I'm not going to do that the entire episode. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that there. Anyway, you're in this- it's just a fairy ride doesn't do anything, except just- It transports you back from there to there, which- Shh. It, you could pretty much do on foot. I think probably- this is a little bit faster, but it's only 10 gold. It's take the scenic route to back to where you were. See a little sights. See some places we won't be able to get to act, um, actually until very end of the game. And we're dropped off in this ticket office where there's more people to talk to. Mysterious Whirlpool. What could that be? Fritz. Hmm. Remember her for... No, not she barely rip off. I'm not gonna do that. But you don't even have to remember her for later. It's just a little thing. Just remember, do whatever you want. The Millennial Fair, and there's people running. Crazy invention. Blow up like a last time. I love this game. Oh, Ted Woolsey, you are a delight. And uh, some, and there's a shop. So they won't talk to us. Oh, oh, they're racing, eh? The war against Magus, 400 years ago. Ah, and everyone here just has such colorful dialogue. That's just a shop there. Uh, that's just a shop there. I think. Hmm. That's just a shop there. Weapon shop. Because oh, oh no, that's the guy who talked to you to enter the race and everything. And I'm not going to talk to him for now, or him. For now. Wait, pff, just try to press the L button to talk to that guy. Just pff, been playing too much to Earthbound, doing my test runs for the game. So anyway, hmm. There's a girl there. Oh. Hey, hey watch it. Or did she bump into me? I, I can never tell when that scene happens. I, I don't, I'm not sure. I'm so s oh, it's okay. Oh, you're pendant. Now, very, very important. Talk to her, then check on the pendant. Don't go to the pendant and then do that. It's very important for the very near future. And oh, you're from you're from out of town. Sure, you can come with us. Oh, thank you. And your name is Marl. Or Marley. Uh, whichever way you want to pronounce it. I pronounce it Marl. Okay. And now let's run around with our new friend. Sitting down for your lunch? Well, let's make a save state here. And it tastes like chicken. But we do not want to do that. Very important once again. Do not eat his lunch. What do you have to say? Luca's ro- Ooh, silver points. Uh, I'll go over that a little later. Talk to this cat and it will follow you. Make sure you give it a wide berth so that so it will keep following you. It's like the party members in Secret Amata. The AI is terrible when it comes to corners. Mm -hmm. So bring it over here to this little girl. And you bring back your cat. Aw, thank you, Marl. I am sweet, aren't I? Make sure you do that, too. Telling you to do a lot of things, but just do them. Hmm. You can press the B button to dash? I didn't know that. I've just been doing it the entire game so far. And we can press X, Y, L, and R to dance. Do, do, do. Yeah. And we can do this little weird thing there. Surprised face. Happy face. 
<laughs> no, no, get away, get away. Those are all the things. Prehistoric dance, eh? It's probably my favorite, one, one of my favorite songs in the game, but... Third favorite, Jurassic Note Rhythm Note. Blah. <gasps> Jurassic Note Rhythm Note again. Talk to the little girl. Oh, good for you. You went to see that creepy old man as well. Well, he wasn't that creepy. He, he wasn't creepy at all, actually. Let's go down. Now, I'm going to explain something right here. Silver points. They're points you use at the fair to spend on stuff. There's two things you can do with them, to my knowledge. Tent of Horrors and exchange them for 50, 50 gold. Tent of Horrors is a much better waste of your silver points. And let's, let's press A as fast as I can on a genuine Super Nintendo controller, actually. Well, it's a USB Super Nintendo controller, but oh well. And only four cans. But since I'm playing on an emulator... Turbo A activated. Do do do. Look at all the soda cans I am racking up here. Life is easy when you're playing on an emulator. And that game earns you five silver points. Not a very good. Well, it can be a decent method of gaining silver points. Oh yeah, the guy in the tent up there. Uh. Uh, he exchanges your silver points for gold. And let's talk to this guy! Press the A button while facing the bell and blah blah blah. This is another game to earn silver points. It's a terrible... Okay, I'm gonna win it this once. Okay, no, I'm gonna win it this once. I'm gonna win it this once. I'm gonna win it this once! There we go! It's a terrible way of earning silver points. You get all that effort for one silver point. Oh no way. Uh, this guy over here, Tent of Horrors. He tells you how many silver points you have, and that uh, that's the Tent of Horrors. So anyway, the race is another way of earning silver points. Quite a good way actually. Talk to this guy, and he will give you his pick for the next race. Talk to him. And you pick. So, Green Ambler. And he's usually right, that old guy. And a way to win, uh, a kind of way to do this is you can stand in front of the other runners to slow them down. It's, mm, it's not usually that great, but you can still do it. And you were wrong, old man. I'm gonna, tr I'm gonna give this one more try because I don't want to spend too much time on the race because the race is actually pretty time consuming. Okay, everyone get back. And Steel Runner. Sure. Steel Runner. You better be right, old man. I'm coming for you. Okay. Oh, no, you better not win. Look at the sti- I'm giving up. If you win the race, you get 20 silver points. If you're lucky, that can be a really good way to get silver points. But not if you're unlucky like me. Come on, keep going. This is by far the best way to earn silver points. Do, 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 do. Mm -hmm. Gato. Which, if you didn't know, is Spanish for cat. So, here's- attack him and if you beat him you get 15 silver points as well as experience and tech points so this is the best way to earn silver points as well as gain a couple levels in skill well one skill really for each but either way it's still really good and each attack will insinuate a counter attack unless he is too far away and that was a critical hit just there an experience, one tech point. And we get 15 po silver points. Enter and exit and you can do it again. But I'm going to step away from the fair for just a moment. Well, actually not just a moment. It's going to be quite probably the rest of the video. So, anyway. 
go out. I wanted to wait until we got Marl in our party to go to this area because there's some enemies you can fight, and I didn't want Chrono to get ahead of get ahead of levels a bit. And Marl could use some experience too. So there's this area, and so our first real enemies, Hitakes. Ooh, I'm low, and that was a critical hit there. And just a note about uh, Marl and some other characters that will be getting the long-ranged weapons. Uh, whether it's long-ranged or close combat, it doesn't really matter. Like, actual-wise, mechanic-wise. But, something to note about that is that if you are right ne if they are right next to an enemy, they will do l a little, not a lot, a just a little bit less damage than if you attack them like far away. And what we just got there was a power tab. Tabs throughout the game are just things you'll find that increase a certain stat by one. And what you want to do with the tabs is Chrono is going to be your main attacker. Well, yeah, he. You have to have just all my power tabs. I'm going to give to Chrono. Uh, or maybe later uh, some other characters that we get that are power oriented. Um, you also get tabs for the other stats, like you get magic tabs, um, and speed tabs, and speed tabs are actually the only way that you can increase your speed. Otherwise, you're, f you're stuck with the speed you have at the beginning, and speed maxes out at 16, so... As you can see, Chrono is already three points away from maxing out speed, so it's not that big of a deal. Marl is a little slower, on the other hand. And speed tabs will go to a later party member. Two later party members, actually. And magic tabs will also go to a later party member. And if there's... Uh, I'm blanking out if there's any other tabs or not. So I don't really care. At the moment. So let's just keep on doing these battles. And anyway, if we've been in a battle, how I'm gonna do random battles in this let's play is that if we're in a battle with an enemy that we have previously encountered, I am going to cut it out. Anyway, Avian Chaos, they, they're Beetle and Hitake so far have been just standard enemies. Just really basic early game enemies do nothing and uh, come back to that anyway as I was saying Beatles Hitakes they're really standard enemies can't do anything to you uh, avian chaos is actually can inflict the chaos status which is basically confusion and once again come back to that I really have to think of some better transition than I'll come back to that and what is over here? Another mysterious box. Not gonna bother with the text. So anyway, uh, let's go over here. What is over here? Guardia Castle. No trespassing. Trespassing. Okay then. Marl wants to check out the fair. Fine. And anyway, chaos is basically confusion status. Chrono and Marl gained a level in that battle. And anyway. Also, with attacks, um, Chrono's Cyclone is basically an attack hits all enemies. And uh, Marl's tech that she learned Aura is basically a pretty big cure spell. A little stronger than Potion. And also, uh, your characters will learn dual techs throughout the game that are techs that involve, they take up two characters' turns, and, uh, have a different effect. Aura Whirl is basically a combination of Cyclone and Aura, and it is a healing effect on all party members. Which uh, is pretty good early game. Pretty good. Uh, anyway, uh, looks like uh, I'm gonna cut the video off here, and uh, I'm gonna grind some silver points off screen in between this video and the next video, and then uh, next video I'm gonna meet you outside the Tent of Horrors. Okay, thanks for watching, and see you guys then. Bye.